Welcome back, Easy Achievers, to your... That's right, Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for a very beautiful Friday night. I have a very good uh, week ne- weekend kind of feel in this episode. It's like you sit back, you relax, you open up a bottle of whiskey, or if you're sober, a Coke. And you sit back, you relax, and you let us fleet you into the weekend. I am one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me virtually. Alex. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. How are you today? I'm good. It's been it's been it's been a good Friday. I'm just chilling, playing some <clears throat> destroy all humans. Ooh, destroy all humans. Mm-hmm. It, it, you, I think you gave a brief and an uh, analyze oh, last week. How was it this uh, so far? It's good so far. I'm almost done. I'm almost done with the story. Are you about I a thousand? This have... isn't that what you're trying to do? I'm trying to. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. There's one achievement that's bought that I'm that it's going to be hard. Because I, you have to go back and replay them because uh, you have to three star everything, and uh, it's like you pretty much finish the mission and there's two, there's either one to three optional things you do in the missions, and um you have to get and each one is counts as a star so I have to pretty much a hundred percent each mission, and I have then that's an achievement where you got to do all of them. It's either I think it's either two star or three star all of them, and I'm like, oh my god. Okay. So some of them are I'm like Jesus. All right. <laughs> it sounds like a mess. Now, is this in in the realm of impossibility, or is this something like eh, no, if it, I sit down, I can do it? No, if I sit down and like try, I can do it. I just I tried doing it the first try, and I have half of them. So I I need to go back and do the other half if I want to do if I want to get that last achievement. Okay, so it's attainable. Yeah, it's obtainable. Okay, that's good. Now, don't worry, don't worry. We're not a Destroy All Humans fan cast. No, 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 no. We are a video game podcast that comes to you every single Friday over on YouTube and the podcast service of your choice. You head over there. You give us a listen. And if you like us even more than that, then, of course, you can go over to patreon.com slash cgtubers. Give us a dollar. That gives you an exclusive every single, that's right, every single month of the year gives you an exclusive that you can only hear if you support us over on patreon.com slash youtube achievers you can also use patreon messaging service get direct access to us ask us a question comment concern thought or idea that we then bring up on the next show to discuss thank you for the support so far if you are a freeloader don't worry alex is too you can go over to every single youtube or podcast service of your choice and then like comment subscribe share with that one friend that one weird guy at work that you don't really want to talk to but you have to because you have to ask him for the key to the copy machine so you give him this so you have something to discuss while you're asking for the key to the copy machine thanks fred now wow we are about to get into our topic slash news story of the week i would like to ask alex one singular question thank you for the pregnant pause alex that question is i thought your mic messed up but I was like, oh God. <laughs> that question is alex what is your favorite mm. fast food restaurant my favorite fast food restaurant. Yes. Whoa, I was not before we, this. I before was we, yeah. So regularly, every yeah, single, yeah. every single week, I of course, Alex, ask Alex what has he been playing, but not yet. I want to know. You lucky I didn't answer because I was literally just about to say Apex. But I'm <laughs> glad that's, that's, Apex is not fast. Food. <laughs> but this week, I wanted to open it up for a little more discussionary topic. Something that can give light into who we are as people. Because you can learn a lot about someone's eating habits and personality by what they choose Mm. to eat and Mm. consume and put into their body. So, Alex, I will ask one more time, what is your favorite fast food restaurant? Chick-fil-A. See, that's a strong choice. Now, I hear these West Coast... I'm just going to say it. Fucks. All right. I like to talk the the mess about the Chick-fil-A, saying it's dry. I don't know what chick-fil-a they're going to with these messed up habits but what do you say to that is it is the chick-fil-a sandwich dry alex not really i mean do they do they know do they know condiments exist right i I, not even i mean even without the condiments the chicken is pretty moist already i agree if you're gonna i mean but there is condiments to like chick-fil-a sauce i mean that's that's good i smack some mayo on it 
Yeah, yeah and as I was say, if you need to put some mayo on it because it's good with chicken, I mean, go for that. <laughs> when I say I put a stupid amount of mayo sometimes on those, it is a stupid amount, but it's so good. Usually, I used to only do like maybe like half the packet. Sometimes I now do the whole packet. Oh God, I'm I'm a whole packet man myself. Now, if I'm really crazy, I got a deluxe sitting in front of me. I'm 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 a mm-hmm. two packet guy. I'm I'm smacking two packets Ooh, on that. Jesus. Oh you God, want, yeah. You want some chicken with your mayonnaise? Is look, mayonnaise is probably almost the perfect economy. You can eat well, it on that's almost how anything. My wife is with her burgers, and she would drown that bit. She would drown it in ketchup. Uh-huh. And then she'll have ketchup on the side to dip it in. Mm-hmm. I really like the use of drown that bitch. <laughs> I'm just picturing she's shoving a burger inside of a bowl of mayonnaise and then just going to town. <laughs> uh, oh. it's, now, it's crazy. now, I go Chick-fil-A as well, but I will say if I have to go for a more like traditional fast food, something quick, something easy, I will mm-hmm. go Taco Bell as the secondary option. Mm. Now, you sent me something very troubling over the weekend. More of the week. Taco Bell is taking off eight substantial menu items. This is very upsetting. Now, they did. This is correct, Alex. They have already done this. This is very upsetting. We're losing all of the grillers, which were very easy to go. Mm -hmm. They were like a dollar. It was very nice. Then -hmm. there were the, what are they called? The seven lane. Seven layer burrito was never a fan of it, so I'm fine. It's gone. Mostly all the nachos. All the nachos are gone. Which is strange, right? Yeah, that's all weird. The nachos are gone. The only thing that, which is weird, because it, it says the chips and the nacho cheese sauce dip thing was gonna go away, but I I was able to order that, so I don't know if that actually went away or not. I'm assuming they're trying to get through their suspi- suspi- Jesus fuck it's the supply of their mm-hmm. nachos and cheese, and then once yeah. it's gone, they won't well, order anymore. Well, it's still anymore. on the menu list, so like mm. all, everything else has been updated. Well, I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of revamping because they're taking out a lot of menu items. And Taco Bell's known for an obnoxiously long and menu list. So I'm sure mm-hmm. they're well, going to be padding it's it up. refreshed already. I, I went the other day and it's all cleaned up. Interesting. I wonder if they're planning some sort of crazy line of some random taco. I don't think so. I think there would be like, there's too many things on the list. Just make it simple. Okay, Alex. Now we'll end this with the original. Chick Fil A is your choice. What's the What's the order then? What is your order? Mm, so I I used to have a. Yeah, I get a number two, which is the spicy chicken deluxe. Same. It's the exact same and thing. And I, I get a large fry. Yep, of course. And uh, of course, either a large coke or if I'm down, if I really want to, I get a I get a milkshake. Okay, yeah, yeah. I love their milkshakes. The strawberry milkshake is my favorite. Mm-hmm, yeah. But, like, lately, I just, like, I haven't had the chance to eat the fries on hand because, mm-hmm. I mean, we can't just sit there and eat. So we have to drive home. And yeah. The fries, for some reason, lately, they've been getting a lot colder. Like, mm. more, a lot colder. Yeah, so they don't, don't, they don't, the don't hold heat well. So I get two sandwiches. I get a number one deluxe and a number two deluxe. Interesting. Okay. I respect that. Now, I do respect, now, when, I, when I'm really going in, what I do mm-hmm. is I get a I get a deluxe, I get a large, I get a drink, and I also get a Chick Fil A sandwich by itself for later. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe mm-hmm. lunch the next day, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I really yeah. enjoy just that little dose of the Chick Fil A, just to put a little pep in my step the next day. No, for sure. For it's sure. it's kind of like a warm pat on the back from Santa. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I still that sometimes is like at in high school when you had those spicy chicken sandwiches. They were good. I uh, man, I used to have like I used to try to have two because you only you only get one. But then you see that one person in the cafeteria that's not eating theirs yet. You be and you yeah, I walk up to him and be like, hey, hey, you want that? You want that? You gonna eat that? <laughs> And he's like, please go away. And you're like, hey, man, do you, are you going to eat that? And, you're just, and he's like, please just take it and leave. Right. <laughs> the yeah, the best days were Thursdays because that was chicken tender day, if I remember correctly. Mm. I, if I remember correctly, at my school, it was Thursdays, chicken tender day. That was the best. I always had a day, though, where I got a salad, though. Like, I think it was like either in the beginning of the week or halfway through the week because Friday I can't. I have to have either pizza or the chicken. Yeah. But like halfway or the beginning, I'll have that good salad, man. I always, I got a sub salad a lot because we were weight training back in the day. I had to be yeah. lean, very lean. So I, so I did just eat salad sometimes. Mm, and they yeah, weren't that bad. I will say it. salad gets a bad rap um if 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 your salad doesn't taste good you're not doing it right you're not just supposed Mm -hmm. to like cut up an iceberg lettuce and eat it you you know put some other veggies in there 
you know, mm-hmm. not and too you, much ranch because you are defeating the purpose of actually eating the salad, but like just a little dabble of ranch. Were you about to say you drowned it in ranch, ranch Alex? <laughs> hey, I put the whole packet of ranch in there. I I, I try not to because, again, like I might as well just eat a Big Mac at that point if I'm really like going nuts. <laughs> hey, I, I put the whole, I, I'm, it's, it's cool me. I respect that. I take a Big Mac, cut it up, and I put it in the salad too. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. That, that's probably delicious, but I'd never try it. No, I take the bread off first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Please leave the bread in. It's so wet and with ranch. Oh, God. We're moving on. We're moving on. Yeah, Alex. I'm going to toast, 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 toast the bread for the Big Mac and then cut it up. There you go. I got my croutons. We, I was just about to say that. You're, you're a genius, Alex. You're a genius. You toast it. You really toast them. You make croutons out of it. Cut them yep. up. Smack them in there. That's, deli- that's delicious. You're welcome, McDonald's. That's a free tip from us all right we just made you millions of dollars i will expect a check in the mail soon alex moving on to the topic of the show this is going to be of course a little a little different podcast today normally we of course go over the news of the week we bring you the news from the previous week in gaming and then we bring it to you and discuss it this week we're going to talk about really one news story there's not too much happening because tomorrow as of recording is DC Fandom. Don't know why it's called Fandom, but it's it is. They've they've they're sold on it. So we're gonna be talking about Suicide Squad. We're gonna be talking about the WB in Montreal Batman game that they've been teasing throughout the whole week. We're gonna be talking about all that. But we figured we might as well do a small show today, small show tomorrow. Combine that together to have your regularly scheduled Easy Cheevers programming. Now, let's get in to why Halo was delayed. Now, this has been going a smattering of a bunch of places. So I'm just going to bring up an original story, then I'm going to give you an update, and then we're going to discuss it. So, as you may know, Halo Infinite was delayed, I want to say, as of recording, what, about a week ago, Alex, you'd say? About a week, a couple days? I think last Friday, right? It was delayed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is pretty insane, right? Big deal Mm -hmm. that Halo Infinite got delayed. Now apparently the reasoning for the delay um this is an investigative report this is over Mm -hmm. on ign by jordan oleman a report has surfaced suggesting halo infinite's development and recent delay have been affected by outsourcing with the upcoming halo tv show also apparently a quote significant distraction end quote an investigative report into the quote turbulent end quote development cycle of Halo Infinite from Thrall alleges that a number of factors have contributed to the game's troubled development and an eventual delay from Xbox Series X console launch into 2021. One major factor in Infinite's delay supposedly stems from the fact that quote a significant portion of the game is being outsourced to third-party contractors end quote. This is a standard practice in the games industry, especially in AAA, but in Infinite's case, the report suggests that the level of outsourcing has been unusually high with the, quote, coordination between the many different companies contributing to Infinite has been rough at best, end quote. Throat Source claims that this outsourcing was at a ratio higher than a typical studio undertakes during development, which has led to communication and collaboration headaches for 343. Apparently, the E3 2019 trailer for Halo Infinite was outsourced while the game was not in a playable state, which, quote, oversold expectations for Infinite's later demos, end quote. The report suggests that the marketing and engineering teams behind Halo Infinite, quote, have been on two different planets, end quote, which also led to messages, uh, issues in messaging the game. The the report also dwells on the departure of the high-profile creatives. We've discussed this before. Tim Longo and Mary Olsen left as a reason for the turmoil. Both were creative directors who left for 343 in 2019. The recent rumor that, that the game was going to ship with multiplayer and campaign as separate entities is also corroborated, with the report suggesting that this came under consideration as the means to, quote, meet the holiday 2020 deadline, end quote. Now, I want to really quick hit on that very last point. Now, this, I think the most important things you can take from this, it can be summed up in three things. I want to hit mm-hmm. the, the last three, then we'll hit the first one. All right, so last three, I want to go over high-profile creatives, Tim Longo and Mary Olsen leave. That's a huge deal, right? Your creative director is leaving. Now, in 2019, they left. So that is... Let's say we get a Halo 5 thing all over, all over again. Yeah, this happened with the writer of Halo 5. Yeah, it was 5. Yeah, it was, it was halfway through development. I believe he left, and they scrapped most of the story and yeah. rewrote a bunch of stuff, but that wasn't. they couldn't change everything, which is crazy. But now, let's... 
I'm of two minds with the creative directors leaving, right? In 2019, your creative director is there to kind of hold together the idea of Halo. But I want to say this game was in trouble before these creative directors left because they should have been able to iron out most, if not all, actual ideas of the game and then be able to leave and them still handle this in 2019. So there have I think there yeah, are issues like, in other people. You should have already had the story and everything already out had to work on. Yeah, for sure. The, the story should definitely have been ironed out. You, you in 2019, so this is a year ago, if they are planning to hit a 2020 deadline... You should, there should be a rough alpha and you should be near completion of a playable game, in quotes. Now, play, not playable to us, of course. I'm talking about squares shooting at each other's so things. So, yeah. so the, these are, that's a rough estimate of like actual playable. But there, there should, it's not a huge deal if your creative leaves a year before the game comes out. So that most of that should be ironed out already. Second, the multiplayer and campaigns are releasing as separate entities. Now, we do know that they tried to do this. Because Phil Spencer said this on uh, Animal Talking, correct? Yeah, that was last week. Animal Talking, he went on there. He said, we thought about releasing it in twos, but Xbox did not want to do that. So they are keeping it as one thing. So we know that's true, p period. We know that they want to ship one part of the game while leaving the other part to get finished. We're not sure which part is finished. I assume the campaign is finished. Yeah. But maybe the multiplayer is finished. I don't know. Now... Going to the, I think one of the biggest parts of this whole story, and I've heard this in multiple places, so I'm pretty sure this is true. The contracting is a huge deal. Now, like they said, that's not huge in the games industry. That happens a lot. They outsource to different studios and publishing outlets to kind of iron out certain things or to alleviate things. Like they said, they outsourced their E3 2019 demo, which makes sense. Or sorry, E3 2019 trailer, because that makes sense. They don't want to waste their time on a trailer. So they outsource that to alleviate their actual concerns. But there seems to be so many contractors on this that there is not a clear pipeline of quote-unquote like uh, ta talent and actual game knowledge coming into one pipeline rather than these separate pipes not actually talking to each other, which is very worrisome. Now, Alex, out of all this here, are you worried about Halo Infinite? Um... Hmm. I'm trying to. I, I don't know because uh, my thing is with the creative directors leaving. I mean, is that at this point, it? I don't feel like it should affect them at all. They should be fine now. I assume in 2019 that yeah. was awful for them. They they probably destroyed them, but yeah. but for now they that, should have recovered. Now this is a question that only people really on Halo can actually verify and say is true. If they're in a place to finish the game right now alex if you have to give a date when does halo come out now because mm -hmm. they didn't even like, touch a date they I just said it's to, it's delayed delay. yeah of course so after delay wh um, when is this game coming february or march who okay so only two months delay really three months if you want to give it that three month delay yeah. some people and i will quote ryan mccaffrey on it on his twitter said november of next year so they give him a full year. year yes yeah what oh, do you wow. what do you think of that too too far too much does that seem unbelievable do you i just don't, i don't think they'll give it that much but i mean if they do i mean it gives them time to just polish everything i just don't know what else they're, I don't know. It depends on how much of a bad state this is in, right? And again, this is only something yeah. someone on the game can tell you. Like, so, is, unless they like, unless everybody looks like Craig, and like, <laughs> okay, we have to fix everybody's faces. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and quote Mr. Ryan McCaffrey here. If you don't know him, he's a storied, storied Xbox reporter over on IGN.com. Great writer. Go over here. Go over there on this Twitter. He's a great follow as well. So this is him quoting an IGN article with what actually what we're currently reading so he says this thing is not coming out anytime soon by the sound of it imo in my opinion basically which to be a thousand clips here i'd be fine with it didn't make lawns so i'd say just hold on to it as good as it possibly can be let's do november 15th 2021 the 20th anniversary boy oh boy alex now if they come out and say november are you upset or or are you like do it whatever who cares um i mean i'm gonna be i'm gonna be disappointed
disappointed, but I can wait. I think it would be incredible if they're like, we need another year. Like, what is going on at 343 to say that they are so out of whack that they needed a complete another year from what their original deadline was? Mm -hmm. So they've been working on this, what? When did Halo 5 come out, Alex? That was 2016? Halo 5? Oof. October 27th, 2015. Jesus. So let's say they give a year. They have, they've been working on four, which, by the way, that's generous. Most likely, they were given probably six to seven months polishing Halo 5. They then did they then did Master Chief Collection, right? Which <laughs> you assume only about half of the team worked on that. Maybe two-thirds of, of the team worked on Master Chief Collection. Yeah, as I was say, I don't know. A lot of, a lot of work went into that. Um, what, what was this released? Originally released November 2014. So, yeah, Master Chief even came out, which, that's crazy. I don't know why I thought Master Chief came out after Halo 5, but it came out before Halo 5. So, November 11th, 2014. Oh, yeah, that's right. It did come out. Yeah, Master Chief Collection came out before because it had a little thing for Halo Waypoint, and it would show the Halo 5 thing to where it'll take you to the, to where you could watch Halo Waypoint for the the live action episodes. Yeah, see, I completely forgot about that. So, yeah, so this came out in 2014. So, they already had finishes. Now, of course, they had to keep people on for damage control. Uh, they had to keep people on for damage control because that game came out in a mess. So they probably kept about almost a third of their staff. And I believe 500 people work at 343, which mm. that is one. I believe that's one of the biggest game studios, period, in the industry. Like, that's a substantial base. Now, I don't mean to be mean, and, and I, I never want to come across as mean. But but what what is going on, right? There's 500 X people working on this around probably roughly. And... Yeah, number of employees, 450 as of 2016. So they're pro- they've probably added on a handful of people here and there. To be fair, though, they're not all working on That's this, a good sure. point. That's a good point. I don't I don't want to pretend... You have to show that they're working on I don't. That. I don't want to work up the 343 and like point fingers and be like, I can't believe you! Like, I definitely... Sure some people are in there and they'll be, they'll be like, oh, you're working on Infinite? What is that? <laughs> they're probably <laughs> like, you know, and... Just because you work for a developer doesn't mean you develop games. You could be doing a lot of things. You could be doing sound design. You could be, you could be working specifically on the gun. Like I I'm not blaming these. But I'm just saying, what I'm, cu- I'm very curious what's going on now. All these contracting, like really, what is happening over there? I'm very curious, and I hope some interpreter reporter really breaks down and asks what's going on. Like, is there some sort of mismanaging? Is the head of the of the studio like not not helping? Is the guidelines not clear? Is whoever manning the head head of the studio are they, are they just uh, which is Bonnie Ross? Are they not clear in their vision? I don't know. Hopefully they keep come out of this cleaner than it is. Now I want to give a refute to this because um, three forty did refute the original IGN article that they. Uh, sent out. So this is an update to the original article. In a statement for Riot to IGN by a 343 industry spokesperson, the Halo Infinite developer refuted the claim in Throughout's report that the Halo TV show and the works at Showtime had a major impact. Now that's very interesting. The spokesperson labeled Infinite and the TV show as quote, completely completely independent projects, unquote, whose development did not impact one another or prove a quote, distraction, unquote, as the original report's sources claim. Now, of course, I thought that was very strange of them to say that. Um, I don't know who, I don't, uh, they never give out who, who said that. Cause I assume they don't want anyone to get fired, but it's very interesting that you say that the TV show is affecting the game. Cause that should be com- literally like they said, that should be completely different. They should not be related in any way. So I, 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 I thought that was interesting that they brought up something that doesn't seem to be true because it's not like your head of developer or your creative directors are moving from this to then go work on a TV show. So I, mm-hmm. I doubt that's what was happening. I'm glad they cl- at least cleared that up. Now, what's interesting is 343 said that the TV show did not impact it. They did not say anything about any other reporting. So they basically confirmed that that contracting is the problem. Mm. So it's a lot of outsourcing, a lot of issues, a lot of managerial problems, it seems. Well, hopefully get, they get it stuff together. Alex, what's what's perfect scenario for Halo Infinite now? Right? You delay it. 
what what is perfect storm for halo do they move to a march window and try to dominate like march early early spring um i would i would mm, i wouldn't see it a bad idea for between spring and summer it could be a good summer game may may april yeah. around there yeah I, I don't see i don't see it bad as one of those but if they do delay it for next a holiday which is would be nuts that would be nuts and, uh, i i mean hopefully i mean they've i mean they we gave them the time so they sh- everything should be great oh god could you imagine if we give them if we if and i'm you know of course we give them i mean that jovially of course but if if they're given a year and it's still messed up like mm-hmm. that's really bad like what is really what's going on at that point yeah that would be very disappointing but i do still have high hopes i think they will nail this but again, what do you, th- Alex? What do you think? Do you think they're being truthful in their original posting of the delay, COVID slash other reasons? Do you think it's because of the demos ill received? Do you um, th- like? I believe I do believe it's from COVID and that demo. They probably would be like, "Oof, we weren't expecting people to be that upset about it." Um, so they actually, I feel like they do want to go back and fix all that stuff or see if they can make it better. Now, there, now I will, I will say they are very, very smart people at Xbox. They are very, very smart people at 343. These are very intelligent companies working. There's a 100% zero chance that they went in to showing off that demo, not expecting the response they got do you agree with that or do you think they went in like this demo is going to be great everyone's going to love it they're going to be like halo's back we're we're like number one do you think i'm incorrect or do you think they looked at like someone internally was looking or do you think phil spencer looked at that demo and was like what is this or do you think he looked at it and was like this is going to be awesome uh, i don't i don't know like because at first um I mean, when I watched it, I mean, it looked fine. But, like, I mean, to be fair, it, it, uh, my thing is, is, is we, when we, when we were shown this, this was shown through a stream. Right. So I don't know if that had any effect on the way it looked. So did you look at the VOD? No, I didn't. Okay. So if you look at the VOD, it is 4K 60 frames. Okay. I will now follow that up with saying it does not, to me, look that different. I, I don't think it looks night or day. I, I mean, I can tell it's probably running close to 60 frames. But now it's is it's 4K 60 frames on on an X or on a Series X. No, well, the video was. I don't I don't know their specifications when the game launches what they'll be running. On. So most likely, the game was running on an Xbox One X, not a Series X. That's probably why people were, oh, this is supposed to be next gen. Well, I, I, I don't. It wasn't running. On well, that's a good console. point. I'm a. I will, I would assume it was running on an next gen console because why else would you show it on something else? Or it, at the very least, know. it wasn't even on a console. It was probably on a PC, in my opinion. PC. Yeah, it was probably just running on a PC. I I think they they looked at that demo knowing what was about to happen, took it on the chin and went, "Hey, we're delaying it." I I yeah. I think that's probably what happened. Now they now to be fair, I do agree with the notion. Like I could be talked into them thinking it was amazing because they did hype that up a lot. Mm. they hyped that up like all right we're about to show halo like get excited they sent tweets out they show the cover art like they get everyone hyped and then they show us craig and we're like what is this <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know there's so many questions i still have but alex i i want to before we leave this topic if if everyone loved that demo mm. would we be getting halo on time Hmm. If if they had no complaints about it, honestly, I feel like we would get it because they're gonna be like, "What's the point of if if it's if it's good, why change it?" Interesting. But since they got negative feedback, they'd be like, "All right, we need to fix what we need to fix what we got uh, the feedback." Okay. See that that's the biggest question for me because if they if if the answer is yes, then that means COVID and, wasn't entirely the reason that they had to delay. Then. Yeah, and honestly, I mean, I feel like, um, it. It's a, I, I'm 
sort of glad they did delay it so they actually can make sure like since there was negative feedback it'll be like all right we can fix this and make and, and right the wrong look it's one of the lamest things you could say because i hear it all the time and it just gets old but i will say it i'm glad it got delayed too i like it's yeah. lame i hate it i don't want things to get delayed but no, no, at the like, end of, at the end of the day have, i'd rather wait and have an amazing game rather than get it early and be bad and get master chief collection where i can't even play it like, when it first came out can you it's great I, I can't believe that I, 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 like what that Steve collection was horrible when it first came I, out i can't believe that happened i and me and alex i have so many memories of master chief collection because me and alex were trying our damnedest to play this game we were trying mm. so hard to play master chief collection and it Dude, just it takes so long to get a match well it wasn't even the match we were trying to play campaign and it wouldn't even load us together yeah, like half the time it would load us together, and then we would just have so many issues. Now, follow-up question that's not really interested to what we've been discussing, but it's interested in Halo Infinite. Do you think there's a chance that we get an integration of Halo Infinite with Master Chief Collection? We may have talked mm. about this already on the show, but even if we did, you've had time to stew on the actual topic. Do you think we have eventually get Halo Infinite, because it's called Infinite, so you would think... This is I a feel like they'll add it. Platform. I feel like yes, they, they will add it later on, but I feel like they'll add the multiplayer into Master Chief Collection, like because it's gonna be free to uh, the freedom. It's gonna be free to play. I feel like they'll add the multiplayer. Ooh, in that's a good point. I yeah, no, that's a good point. So it's free to play. So you could just add Halo Infinite as a screen in Master Chief Collection. Yep, and they could just be like, oh, that's it. They could just add the the, the playlist to the to that. Oh, uh, see, I didn't even think about it that way. This genius. Yeah, that's a good, very good point, Alex. Yeah, you could just add in. Little screen like you have with Reach and ODST, and be like, "Hey, boom, Master Chief yep. Collection, we got Infinite now." And eventually, I'm assuming they'll add out. Halo Five, right? Like, yeah, because mm. yeah, they haven't had it Halo Five. You have it. I mean, they have Halo Four. So if you have four, like, yeah. just put five. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, because OD- ODST and Reach were the last two that they've added. Yes. Yeah. Correct. ODST um, was a. Uh, a make good for their terrible launch and then reach was the most recent one mm. <sighs> yeah i'm surprised that they haven't added five yet i'm i'm, I'm they, they will probably add halo 5 onto the master chief collection um after of uh, infinite comes out that makes sense because then you want people to 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 buy infinite right Mm-hmm. So then you you like all right well now you just buy Master Chief Collection and get them all and then we can add in Infinite because it's free to play and then do you think oh see that's a good do you think they I guess not they wouldn't add the campaign then right it would just be multiplayer and then they would if you oh, wanted to play Halo, right? I'm ass, I'm assuming on Master Chief Collection you would click Halo Infinite you would hit campaign and they'd be like oh you haven't bought the campaign you'd have to pay sixty dollars to buy that. Mm. Yeah, you can either buy it or get Game Pass. Ah, that's a good point. I always forget. I always forget about Game Pass. That's like the sleeper, man. Just get Game Pass. You have it all anyways. $10. Mm-hmm. Now, I've, I literally just came to the realization now. It shows you how stupid I am. P- people who buy Halo Infinite are paying $60 for just campaign. They're not... They're, they're, you get multiplayer for free. Oh, because the, yeah, the multiplayer is free. Yeah, I've just never thought about that. Like, if you pay, if you buy Halo Infinite for 60 bucks, you're paying for only the campaign missions. You're, you're not paying for multiplayer. That's just weird mm-hmm. to me. I just realized that. I, it's just strange. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good really, point. I, I've really, just sat there and yeah. just, it realized me. I'm like, wait a minute. If you buy Halo Infinite at launch, you're paying sixty bucks for just campaign. That's just weird. Buy Game Pass. Don't do that. <laughs> just just get Game Pass. Alex, any lasting Halo Infinite slash Halo things you want to talk about before we leave? Uh, I feel like it's crazy, but I, I it's gonna sound crazy, but I feel like it is gonna be a whole another year. I that is my greatest fear, but also probably what needs to happen if it was in that much of a trouble mm-hmm. like if it was if it was that troubled probably should let it sit for another year which i'm sad to hear that but but if if it happens it happens i'll be very 
very curious what happens over the next few weeks. Apparently, because uh, I went on, uh, Forbes had an article, and it says uh, that the official, the Series X page on Amazon lists the date for Halo Infinite, not just 2021 now, but holiday 2021, implying that it's going to be a whole year. Wait, whoa. 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 What? Yeah. Let me see. If now, like it. right now? I They posted this article about a couple hours ago. So now I'm, I'm checking real oh quick. Oh my god. They just. They just, they just dropped it, it out of well, nowhere. It says, it's, it says coming in 2021. Um. Yeah, no, but Forbes nine hours ago. And Amazon listing says Halo Infinite isn't coming out for another year, full year. This says there's an update. The listing has now been changed to remove the date from the first line. It is now put at the end where it just says coming in 2021 now. No comment yet on, on whether it was a listing error, most likely. Yeah. So, yeah, most likely it might have been a listing error. I doubt Amazon has the actual release date. That was probably just mm. an error in their part. They probably just put a holiday 2021. Why should be holiday? I mean, honestly, dude, I don't think that's that crazy. Because if, if, if 343 comes to Phil, which, yeah, he's head of, yeah, he, they would come to Phil. And they, they ask for like, hey, like, we need another year. He'll say yes. Like, I don't, I don't think that's out of, now he'll say yes with an asterisk of, this game better be fucking good. <laughs> like, like I don't think he'd mess around after that. That that's a pretty substantial. They gave them a lot of leeway with with giving them this time. So if they if they ask for a whole nother November, that'd be pretty wild. I got the SOS from Alex, so he is stepping away for a second. I will be homing the show for at least a few minutes to finish my thought with the Halo. I, Again, I don't want to be kicking through for three weather down. I'm sure they're getting a lot of garbage from a lot of people. They're a good studio. I think they have great things ahead of them. I really think they'll make Halo Infinite <clears throat> good. But I think they they hopefully will turn this around. I, I think they I, okay. and I think they will. I think they will. I I, I have faith through for three. Again, I don't want to seem like I'm kicking them weather down. I'm sure they're I'm sure the people there aren't happy they got delayed either. But uh, they'll they'll turn it around. I'm excited for more Halo. Yes, I'm excited for more Halo too. Alex, hmm? just to wind down a little bit and calm down, we had a good discussion, about a 30-minute discussion on Halo. We're going to end it out with Microsoft Xbox Series X dashboard. It has a new design. Man. Alex, have you seen the des- new designs? Yes, I have. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now, I'm going to try and get this to work alex if you can fill the time and just tell the audience what the design looks like for me and and, so, and what do you think of it i mean i honestly i i really enjoy it because i mean originally they said that the ui wasn't going to change and everything was going to be the same between xbox x and uh series x but like once they uh, showed off these tweaks if it, it, it like it's it's pretty much the same thing, but new. It's still new, and I like the the integration of what they're adding, and including the new store. Which also, did you ever get the new store yet with the the beta uh, the beta thing? I don't. Insider Club. I don't believe I have. Okay, because I I did, and I I dude, I love the store now. It's so nice um everything is so like i love the design is so much uh more uh how can i say it? it like it looks kind of futuristic in a way but it looks a lot more clean it looks cleaner it's not mm-hmm. as like blocky um I right, just, i'm showing i'm showing it, the, really nice. i'm showing the audience right now of some snippets if you want to see it of course your audio but if you want to head over to youtube.com um and search easy achievers just click on this episode you'll be able to see what i'm looking at um, right now, I'm, I brought up the new guide. It looks pretty much the same as it does right now. Uh, the only difference is the party is in the, the main screen, it seems. Mm-hmm. Um, you have the time, top right corner. Uh, you have the games. I assume this will be Cricky Zoom. And they did mention, Alex, I want to say it was a 30% faster. Is that correct? I think it was yeah. 30%, right? I, yeah, I believe it's 30%. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, let's see. And this new store design I'm staring at right now in this video, is that what you have right now? 
Yes. yes. Okay. That, so that, this that, is that, yeah. That store design is what I have. Right okay. Now. So this is in beta right now. Again, again, uh, YouTube.com, Easy Achievers. We're looking at it. This is pretty cool. I again, I haven't seen this yet. This this looks nice. This is. I think you've said this clean. It's very. It's very. I want to say futuristic. There's. Uh, That's what I said. It's yeah. a, it's a lot quicker to access things. It looks like, and then yes, you got is. your movies on the left here, guide buttons, tiles, you, it, a new wish list and cart, which I love. Wish oh, list and carts it, needed to so be crazy. revamped, and I'm glad that they were. Um, let's see if there's anything else. There was a lot of talking in this, so it's mostly like them, like, "Hey, we made it quicker." My favorite thing was, um, I don't know if you picked up on this, Alex, but if you so you can you can save a clip, which I love saving clips and posting them on Twitter. Same. You can save a clip, then there's an either an option or an Almac who does this. It sends it to your phone, so mm-hmm. you can then post it to social media. I'm unsure how that will work, but I assume it works just by accessing the app, correct? So like you assume that's how it would too? I'm, I assume that is how it works, but the thing is, uh, let me see if the app's updated yet, because no, it has not updated yet. Um, I'm, I was trying to see if the app has updated, but like the other day I did do a, uh, well, no, I'm thinking of Game Pass. I'm sorry. Uh, cause I was doing something on my phone on Game Pass and it was, and, it, and then on my, on my, on the system, it, it actually started downloading instantly, but, um, they still need to update the actual Xbox app, which they have not. Um, and you're speaking on like the store, right? Like. Or are you talking about the app on a phone? The app on the phone. I on, see. It, that's because on the where it shows that they we're going to get the new UI, it also shows the phone UI for the mobile app. And that's not just the Game Pass okay. uh, one, but the actual mobile Xbox app. Okay. Okay. I that's see. That's going to get updated as well. I'm, yeah, I'm assuming everything will be updated probably at once or close to at once. Uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, this even the... I'm a, I am blanking on what I'm staring at right now is, but I'm pretty sure this is the new uh, Xbox app for the the PC. Thank you, thank you. I was blanking on PC. Yeah, the one, the one with the themes and stuff. Yeah, the themes. It looks like there's Gears, Halo, yeah, so different PC. Forza. You can put accent colors now too. So this is the new one. PC mm-hmm. looks very nice. Again, n- new sleek designs on the left here. It looks like it's integrated with game pass maybe because it has gear 5 forza 4 ori and halo infinite on the sides here so maybe it's integrated in that way and then well, that's their that's those are their those are their exclusives correct yeah so that's why i feel like it, their, it's game pass yeah. uh, some sort of integrated now i will point out alex i'm sure you noticed this so they bring up the phone at two minutes and three seconds in this video they pull up a phone it shows your mm. you know their bio their gamer score they show a badge Alex, are we getting badges? There's a little badge right here at the bottom. Um, two minutes, three seconds. Two minutes, three seconds in the video. Yes, at the very at the very bottom of this phone, there's a li- it says badges and there's one unlocked. Oh, I see. I, I feel like that's hitting on very long ago now. I think that I I feel like five six years ago they talked about doing this. Mm-hmm. There was going to be a badge system that wasn't tied to gamer score because it was going to be a different way to show off your gamer credit credit in quotes. For instance, mm-hmm. if you played like five years of Halo or something, you would get like a little badge that says you've you've done this thing in Halo. That's cool. That is cool. I hope that's what I'm talking about. Hopefully it is. If it's not, that's disappointing. But I'm sure that will have some function in the future. But I I I my I think my most excited feature is the sending the clip. And yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Sending the clip to the phone. It says you can save it to the phone. You can delete it. Yeah. You can just share it to anything at this point, which is very nice. Uh, scrolling yeah, through. It takes forever when I try to do a clip and I say, uh, we're playing Apex. I do something crazy and then I'm like, oh, well, 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 let me show it to you. Well, let me wait before it uploads. All right. Let me click the Xbox button. Let me hit. I think it's, it's gonna Y. Get out of my game. Let, let me hit that. Now it's going to it's gonna get the last 30 seconds. Let me trim out the garbage in the front and get the only good stuff. Now let me share it to Twitter. Oh, let me type in what I want to say to Twitter manually. Before, like Before you put it on Twitter, you have to wait till it fully uploads they even, to Xbox Live. And they rightfully bring that up in the video. It's like, you know, no one wants to wait 20 seconds to actually upload. Like... And it's it's longer than that, but I, I'm just saying twenty seconds. Yeah, yeah, but it's way longer. But yeah, it's way longer. But he was like, no one wants to wait that long, so we we've streamlined that process too, and things like that. So this is gonna be way easier. I am beyond excited 
for this Thank stuff. Um, it looks like there's like a screen time function, so it looks like you can divvy up like how much you've played Xbox or whatever. Uh, mm. But the, I've hit the unified Xbox page, two minutes, 48 seconds. It's It looks pretty sick. Um, yeah. This new dashboard looks nice. Uh, got a bunch of games on the side. I'm assuming some of this is quick resume. You can just click a button, go right to zoom. You got Destiny 2 Beyond Light there. It's calling my name. Uh, but yeah, they show unified, so everything looks the same on all devices. Your phone, tablet, your t- PC, your Xbox. Mm-hmm. Very, very exciting. I, I, I am beyond excited for this, Alex. I think we've touched on just about everything here. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So so I just wanted to talk, bring that up to discussion for us uh yeah store uses 40 percent less memory so store loads up quicker uh they're just tweaked the overall ui and it's crazy because the game pass app had already updated yeah yeah i did see that the, the game pass did update and yeah that's really all it was they this says this is going to yeah this will release on the new systems it looks like mm. yeah this will release with the new systems and Apparently, they said Xbox One's getting it too, so everyone's well, yeah, getting yeah, this. Yeah, I assume so. I just figured day uh, that that day one there'll be an update. Yeah, for sure. Let me get rid of that. But yeah, that that was that was cool. I liked that a lot. That I'm in. You know, we brought this up. They technically lied. They said we weren't getting that. So yeah, they just said that. Not, they said that. I mean, well, they they said that the the dashboard is gonna stay the same. That is a good point. It, technically, it, it is. Technically, it is. But they just added to where you can have a theme in the back. And, and I'm and I'm sure that was tongue in cheek. Like it's not changing much. Wink, wink. Like okay, you're gonna make it better. So I probably shouldn't have taken that as face value because they wouldn't. I'm you know they wouldn't come into this with no new dashboard. So. We're getting a slightly no. new dashboard. Hopefully, Alex, do you want to see a change to achievements in any way? Um. Yes, I always don't mind the change as long as it's good. <laughs> um, because <laughs> um, like when we went from three six the what was it Xbox Xbox One to Xbox One X, we got the rare achievements. Yep. And, and like the, I like I like that. That they when they did that and they uh, um they tweaked it a little bit. And now I'm wondering, like you said, if maybe like let's say um if you get a certain like because with the leaderboards, nothing happens with those leaderboards. Just so like let's say if maybe you get you know rank one in your friends list like like for the fifth time in a row, whatever you get a badge or something like that. Yeah, that would be cool. Like some sort of I think they I think the badge system has real promise. If you point mm-hmm. to PlayStation, you can see platinum. Like that means something. You you've you've yeah. planted them something. For Xbox, we don't really have like, that. I wish it would show me, yeah. Like if we had yeah, a badge for me. you've hundred percented twenty games and you had a badge for that, like like that's just something I can show on my profile. That is just yeah. like a cool little rep thing. Yeah, because lately, dude, like before we we like we we're achievement whores. I like, am a slut for achievements. Feel, I don't feel rewarded enough. In what? way like, so like in like, just like gamer score gamer period score. like for my gamer score before remember a long time ago before we had the microsoft rewards thing yeah they had the one on the website to where like if you had a certain amount you you were like legend and stuff like that and you were doing like and you had to get to that too like i think it was like over ninety thousand or something like that you get you become legend and then you got something I, I I will say I've never felt more badass than when they were like you you're a legend with gamer score. I was like fuck yeah, yeah like I mean yeah, like, I, am. I felt rewarding, but like now you just you get your gamer. Nothing happens with your gamer score. It's just there now. Alex, you know how many women uh, I got by saying them I was legend on Xbox Live, boy. Oh, oh, I was batting them off with a stick, man. Uh, but ser- <laughs> seriously though, I I, I agree. Um. I've said I've said this many a times. Thousanding is cool. Platinums are better. Yeah. When you platinum something, that feels cool. When you thousand something, like all right, I finished, I finished getting the gamer score. Like it's like you know, there's a little badge, just a little, little, just like a little something, yeah. that that is a little extra effort. What would be really Maybe cool is like, if they get, re- yeah. The, it, what would be really cool is if they implemented like a super serious system. For, for instance, like if Assassin's Creed gave you a badge if you a thousand all of their games 
and and oh. you got an Assassin's Creed symbol or something like a little badge on your on your profile, oh, cool. and you got to like right like just little things like that, right? It, it yeah. gets it even it gets me excited. I'm like, yeah, like It'd that would be, be cool. cool. I would go and um, do that if they had titles like um, destiny like like yes, just like destiny yes got it. for example like let's say like you just i like said, where you're going with this i like where you're if going if you this. had all the assassin's creeds done mm-hmm. uh you could you can you know you're a true assassin or something like that like as a title that's a good idea. that's not a bad idea i you know i'm gonna call phil real quick I'm like call. like i mean i feel like that that you're like that it's more giving me be like oh damn i want that that title so i want to go for them like for all the halos on legendary you know, you uh, you're uh, the you're the true master chief or something like that. What the? I'm trying to call Phil. Uh, I went to it went to voicemail. Give me a second. Hey Phil, we got a million dollar idea. Titles, call me back. <laughs> All right, that that was it. Hopefully he calls back. He hasn't been returning my voicemails for some reason. And he's busy on the plane with his ex, Series X. <laughs> I like that you were like Series X, Series X, <laughs> like not his ex-wife or anything. Like no, no, no Series X, the system. Because <laughs> you got me for a second. I was like X, like girlfriend. <laughs> Phil, I'm sorry. We'll have you on anytime, and we'll have your ex-girlfriend on too. Let's joke. Uh, All right, Alex. This was a very fun podcast, and you know what? It's mm-hmm. not about the great podcast. It's about the friends we made along the way. Thank you so much, Achievers, for joining us for this week's Easy Achievers Game Podcast. We said it'd be a little short. We lied to your face. It's still an hour. <laughs> it's still yeah, an hour. You, you, g- still got our, you, still, you still got your money's worth. You, you still got your money worth of straight free, all right? <laughs> but again, <laughs> of course, we don't care if you give us money. That, of course, will help us in incredibly if you go over to patreon.com slash each achievers you give us the dollar you give us the any amount that you can afford personally that you can afford you give us anything on there if you cannot do that we understand you head over to any service you use even if you don't use it you leave us a five-star review you leave us a like a comment a subscription you share us with that friend remember fred you need to talk to him about something Give him this. Be like, hey, this guy, they, they really like you. You can listen to this. He's going to have a blast talking about Halo and badges for Xboxes, okay? So give us that. That that buys you 10 minutes tops. And then you get the key to the fax machine. I don't even remember. Copy or whatever. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, it was, no, it was, no, it was a copier. It was a copy machine. I don't even remember anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I know you don't remember, Alex. All right? I know you don't. Mm. <laughs> anyways thank you so much for joining us again patreon.com slash if you want private messaging service for any question comments concerns thoughts or ideas tweet at us if you want to ask alex a question every week i ask alex one question if you want to be that m- question tweet at me hashtag ask alex how about that? Hashtag ask Alex. Oh, I'll be snap. checking every single week to see if someone does it. Eventually, someone I'm sure will tweet Alex something. Or ask Alex is probably already taken, and I'll steal something from there. Boom. <laughs> win, win. <laughs> uh, thank you again so much for joining us. We will see you tomorrow. I would say bright and early. It is going to be dark and dreary because it's not going to, it's going to, we'll probably go live around 10 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time. But as always, go Chief. Go achieve.